What is up guys? So today I have here the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S23. So today I'm going to be comparing these devices to see whether or not if you have the Galaxy S23, if you should upgrade to the 24 Plus or just which one's an overall better phone. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is design. So the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or S24 has a lot more boxier design opposed to the kind of flatter, curved, I don't know, sides of the Galaxy S23. As you can see, it just looks a lot better. And the the screen, the bezels are obviously a lot slimmer, as you can see, and it's the same on the Galaxy S24 regular. The bezels are slimmed down quite a bit. And just build material, S23 or S24 just feels a lot sturdier. And also at the bottom, if we take a look, it's actually kind of hard for my camera to focus on it, sorry. Uh, but we only have one microphone at the bottom and then a new redesigned speaker grill. So let's go ahead and compare those. And yeah, I think actually I like the new one a lot better. I just moved my camera. But yeah, let me know down in the comments which one you think. And just for design, personally, I think the Galaxy S24 Ultra, or S24, I keep saying Ultra, I think the S24 Plus definitely looks and feels a lot better. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you think down in the comments. Okay, and as for, you know, size and display, so obviously the Samsung Galaxy S23 is the smaller and slightly skinnier of the two. As you can see, just slightly smaller and it's definitely a great phone for one-handed use as you can see you can easily reach the top without any issue for just yeah you can reach the whole screen a little finicky but yeah you can definitely reach it at ease as for the s24 plus and it's it's kind of a different story so it's you can still definitely use this with one hand but like i said it's definitely kind of kind of hassle not really but just slightly so for one-handedness handness i don't know one-handed mode i would definitely say galaxy s23 definitely wins that but if you want a smaller phone but want a bigger screen i would definitely recommend the galaxy z flip 5 and definitely not the s23 ultra which is what i'm filming with because it's a huge phone so i would definitely recommend getting the z flip 5 if you want a smaller phone but a bigger screen but as for the screens themselves, so the Galaxy S24 Plus has a Quad HD resolution display and it has a hundred or 2,600 nits of peak brightness where the Galaxy S23 has a FHD Plus display and it has a 2,340 by 1,080 pixels. So it's definitely a, not the best like quality, but it's still very sharp. And for brightness, it's 17,000 nits. So it does, it's going to, or 17,000, well, 1,700 nits. So it's definitely going to be able to shine, literally shine, um, but be very visible in bright light, but not as visible as the Galaxy S24+. Plus. And as, I'm, I'm noticing a really bad screen flicker on the Galaxy S23. I'm not, not sure if you can see that. And on the Galaxy S24+, Plus, it is fine. So I think that also has something to do with it, the like display technology, it's easier on your eyes. Plus it just gives you a sharper resolution. And now for battery life. So the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus definitely has the best battery life out of the two, but just considering it has a bigger battery and a, you know, just overall bigger size so you can fit, you know, a bigger battery, um, even though it does take, you know, more power to run it. So it's at 73% and I did charge it before for filming this, the same with the Galaxy S24 or S23. So I, I definitely say the Galaxy S24 Plus has a better battery life compared to the Galaxy S23 but definitely a great battery life for both devices. And just for like overall like smoothness for software and power, so the Galaxy S23 is running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. As for the S24 Plus, it is running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy, which is actually like proven to be... Uh, I'm just noticing there's something on my screen, sorry, there, is, which is actually proven to be faster than the iPhone's, what is it, the A17 Pro chip, so it's definitely a great performance, but the Galaxy S23 regular definitely still has great performance, as you can see, it's still, you know, still going, still very fast and responsive even if it doesn't have the newest chipset. And as for the Galaxy S24, um, obviously it has great, it's great for like uploading and downloading because it has faster internet speeds this time around. 
um, but only if you use T-Mobile's leading 5G internet connection. And also, that brings me to the point of the video where I want to share with you guys how you can get the Galaxy S24 Plus for free during the time of this video. But more at that at the end. So I guess not the time, but yeah, so I'll tell you that later. So for performance, they're both great, but definitely Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy is definitely way better, but you know, it is the newest chip. That's not to say that the Galaxy S23's performance is bad by all means. So the next thing I want to talk about is AI. So the Galaxy S24 or S24 series got new AI features, as you can see that the S24 just doesn't have. So let's say, let me open the camera application, go ahead and just have it, not even take a picture, just press and hold on the navigation bar, and as you can see, it has this little animation, so I'm just gonna, my phone is moving by itself, so let's see what it says, yeah, open box, Samsung Galaxy S23, okay, so it says the plus, but obviously I can't tell the size, Galaxy A a54 so it's definitely samsung phones s23 5g that's actually the exact same storage unit and or storage capacity and everything so it definitely knows what it's talking about and you also get a bunch of new you know photo editing softwares for ai live translation interpreter and a lot of stuff can work offline too like on device so that's super nice and it's just a great experience with Galaxy AI, faster processing. So now it comes to the point, can I recommend this device to you, actually either of these devices, if to you if you're interested in picking them up? So uh, let's start with the S23. So I would definitely recommend this phone. It is a very solid, very reliant phone, reliable phone, even after one year of being released. It still feels fast, but obviously not quite as fast as the new phone. So I can definitely recommend it especially if you're wanting a smaller phone, but don't maybe want to pay the price of the brand new phone, and you're willing to have, you know, not the newest phone, like you don't really care, definitely a great phone. And as for like battery life, performance, and just longevity of this device, it is going to be supported for four years of software updates, and battery life is great, it won't be depleting anytime soon, and display, great, everything is great about this phone, especially cameras, which is something that I really didn't touch on too much, but the cameras are definitely still really good. And as for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus, so hands down, I can recommend this phone. It is definitely by far my favorite device that I have used so far, even that of the iPhone 15 Pro, S23 Ultra. Of Z Flip 5, the best phone that I have used so far in 2024. And for the longevity of this phone, obviously great screen, great battery, great cameras, and you're going to be supported with a whopping seven years of security and OS updates. So you'll be like supported to Android 21. So like when you I don't know what. But yeah, so for you're definitely going to be supported for a lot longer and it is the same with the base galaxy s24 not just the plus or the ultra with the base s24 you will be getting that seven years of software and os updates software and os that's literally the same thing <laughs> security and os updates and it's just a solid device but i can definitely hands down recommending these two devices if you're interested in picking one of these up. For Galaxy S23, you definitely get a better package for a smaller device. For the Galaxy S24 Plus, you definitely get a lot more with a slightly bigger package. So thank you so much for watching that video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing and also for how you can get this Galaxy S24 Plus for free. You can just go to tmobile.com and if you sign up from another like internet provider or if you just just want for some reason I like, don't have an internet provider and you just sign up you can get a free Samsung Galaxy S24 plus on them during the time of this video and also I think you can get an S23 but let's focus on the plus here and it's a completely free and there's no like you know trade-in required if you are signing up as a new customer and you also get a free $200 of instant credit to use for anything T-Mobile so definitely go check that out so like I said thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one I'll see you then